Patrick Toomey is the U.S. Senator of Pennsylvania. He is a leading financial voice in Congress and a supporter of crypto. What are your thoughts on the bipartisan crypto bill? Do you think it's good for the space, bad for the space? Oh, I think it's terrific. I mean, I, I'm, there's, there's some relatively modest differences in how they treat stable coins and my stable coin approach. I don't know if you've seen, we have not introduced a bill yet, but we have publicly released uh, a draft. So those are very bridgeable differences. You heard Kirsten Gillibrand on the panel say, yes, we could bridge those differences. Um, some of the other things I would say also, I have some other ideas about how we could do these things, but it's very constructive to have a Democrat and a Republican senator introducing together a pretty comprehensive bill that sensibly creates a regulatory framework that is meant to allow this space to thrive. From that point of view, I think it's very constructive. Going back to stable coins, yeah. um, has the Terra Luna recent events, is that going to impact legislation at all? Have you thought about that? Oh yeah, absolutely I have. Um, I think I think it it influences legislation in the sense that it's drawn attention to this space and it's a wake up call to the federal government. So my own view is that algorithmic stable coins should be treated separately from fiat asset backed stable coins. They're a totally different creature. Um, but let's be clear, Terra was very large. And when something that large can collapse, um, the natural inclination of a regulator, whether it's the Treasury Secretary or the Fed Chairman or whoever it is, is to look, look out you know, across the field and say, well, what are the analogous or similar uh, uh, instruments or products and what kind of dangers might there be there? And let's face it, we don't have a regulatory regime on asset-backed stable coins, and they do plug into the conventional finance system, right? They, they're, they're backed by traditional instruments like cash and securities. So uh, I do think this has heightened a sense of urgency, and that's, that's important. Just one more question with inflation. So how is that impacting the crypto market? Well, so this is, I mean, there's other people who know this much better than me, but I've been um, fascinated by the price action, right? So you, you might have thought that in a accelerating inflationary environment that that would be good for at least the, the store of value crypto projects like Bitcoin, right? It turns out it hasn't been the case, but it's also coincided with this huge you know, risk off trade across all asset classes. And so it's been interesting to see this crypto space start in some ways to converge in terms of price movement with um, other risk assets, I, I think more than it has previously. Um, so, um, you know, I'm not sure what to make of it. I've never, never thought for a minute I'd be able to predict where any of these tokens prices are going to be. For me, it's, a, it's about the power of the underlying technology. So I, uh, I, do, I do watch closely, but I don't, don't know what to conclude from it.